Kenzo Okada, who moved to New York City from Japan in 1950, became a part of the historical abstract expressionist scene where artists like Okada's friend, Mark Rothko, had made their names. Upon moving from Japan, Okada's work shifted from predominantly figurative to almost entirely abstract. Though Okada himself disagreed with the notion that there was a binary distinction between the two, his focus shifted because he cared about exploring his unconscious through painting, as many others in the abstract expressionist scene did, like Jackson Bollock. Personally, I agree with Okada that there's ultimately no distinction between abstraction and figurative work. Some, ave some avenues of painting may aim for certain effects more than others, but art that truly is aesthetic tends to be admired or at least recognized by those whose artistic ideologies are secondary to what they find aesthetic. Okada, like Rothko, was using experimental techniques to produce delicately intricate paintings, like Footsteps and Number 2, which is also at the Phillips. Though Okada was no longer in Japan, his home country still occupied his thoughts, and its influence on his artistic process was apparent. In Footsteps, we see a gracefulness and fluidity that perhaps owes itself to Okada being influenced by Zen Buddhism, which centers on ideas of freedom from attachment and transience of form. There is also an influence of nature, with the subdued palette and earth tones. In Footsteps, I see nature from an Eastern perspective. The fleetingness of phenomena shines through Okada's ability to make his form seem as if they're floating, and add that effect to the geometric forms which seem to be solid and you get a very interesting painting.